Food banks all across the country are in a crisis right now. The majority forced to scale back donations at a time when more people than ever are looking for help to put food on the table. Now, five local food distribution centers are closing their doors, and analysts say if something isn't done, many others may suffer the same fate. 7 Action News reporter Kira Hay is showing us the scale of the problem locally and also asking what could be done to change this trajectory. It's our free food giveaway today. Compliments of Gleaners. Twice a month for five years, members and volunteers at Agape Love Christian Center do what they consider to be God's work by helping to feed families in the community. Today we have ribs, chicken, sausage. The food, ample, and so is the need. We start serving at 10 a.m., but we've had people at 3 a.m. in the height of the pandemic. Pastor Tanya Ganey says earlier in the year, the need dwindled, but now as families grapple with inflation, the lines are once again looping the block. Yeah, there's a need. And in particular, this community, there's a need. But soon, the community will have to look elsewhere. Ganey's Church is one of five partners to have produce drops discontinued by gleaners. Four of the five are in Detroit. We had to make some very careful decisions. Kristen Sokol, a spokesperson for gleaners, tells me they're operating with a sliver of the donations they had when COVID was at its peak. The government giving them 2.4 million pounds of food a month to distribute last year, but now now? Our most recent distributions were in the hundreds of thousands of pounds, and uh, that's not even close to meeting the need because the need hasn't gone down. Last year, these empty racks will be filled with pallets of milk, but right now they're down to just four. Even if we were to buy more, that gap is so tremendous, you can't buy enough at the inflated rates and with the heightened need that we have right now. Over 80% of all the food banks in America are running a deficit. Which isn't sustainable, says Dr. Phil Knight, the executive director for the Food Bank Council of Michigan. Could that mean more food banks close? Could be. Could be. They certainly will operate uh, with less resources than what the community needs. Agape Love Christian Center's last food distribution day is this Saturday. But Pastor Ganey has faith they will be able to serve the people seeking help in due time. We're just going to see what other doors got opens for us. In Detroit, Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. Right now, the Food Bank Council of Michigan is hoping to change legislation that would help food banks get more access to fresh local food. In the meantime, a way to help is really just by donating. So if that's something that you can do this year, consider it. And I know there's so many food banks yes. locally. Um, I'm thinking of several in my head right now. So if you're able to, that's something you could do. And you don't have to go far because there's likely a food bank in your community. So exactly. if you want to make that donation, it is not going to be difficult to do. Yeah.